Hello, Seekonk. I'm Izzy Patterson, and welcome to a special report from STV News. On Thursday, December 12th, Seekonk High School was honored by the Special Olympics as a National Unified Champion Banner School. First, we take a look back at the history of our program in a video produced by the AV Club. I'm Jayla. I'm John. So Lisa. I'm Sammy. I'm Kevin. I'm Chris, and I choose. And I choose. And I choose. And I choose to include. And I choose to include. Eu escolho a incluir. I choose to include. I choose to include. Hi, I'm Corey, and I choose to include. I think basically we're more alike than we're different and I think we all have that human need to feel welcome. It's not just the students that participate in unified sports. It really has turned into a movement here and to a philosophy too. My program means to me is to having good sportsmanship and work together so that we can get better. Just puts a smile on my face. It's great to see him happy. I love it. The best teachers, best kids, best school, best town. Basically to see an entire segment of the student population really reinvigorated and reintroduced to the mainstream of the student body was something that I see as a tangible result. <laughs> it actually started with uh, Kristen. All of a sudden she came to me with some kind of a notion of, uh, I saw something on channel whatever in Rhode Island about awards being given out in Rhode Island at the end of the year for something called unified sports. Do we have something like that? And I unwittingly said, no, I don't even know anything about it. And, Kristen, being Kristen, decided she was going to take off and find out everything she possibly could about it. At first, we were a little apprehensive that we wouldn't have enough students to join. The first year, we had 19 students on the unified track team, and now, probably this year, we'll have close to 70 students. So it really took off from there. Glory! Glory! is honoring us and helping sponsor our assembly. To be honored as a national banner school, um, we're very proud. It's just been amazing. It is, has been an amazing program and I think it's unified the whole town. It really has. I think the banner is just given to, to from, from the hospital in Copenhagen would be so cool and really awesome. From its inception, this program has brought great distinction to this high school, unsurpassed. And uh, just speaking retrospectively, there is no doubt in my mind, it is the number one accomplishment of the time I spent as athletic director here at Seekonk High. In 2017, Seekonk High School was named a unified champion school. This year, it will be named a national banner school. It's time to celebrate and raise, raise the, the banner! This is a huge honor for the school district. It's only one of four districts in the entire country to receive this distinction. Major toy company Hasbro has stepped up and sponsored a school-wide assembly to celebrate. Here's our coverage of that assembly. Make some noise, Seacock High School! Let's go!
Here, right here. And cheer, here, here, cheer. Unified students, you can make your way to this seat. And everyone else, you can stay standing for the playing of our national anthem. Now let me introduce your MCs for today's assembly, Will Caverly and Lila Carvarlo. Good afternoon, Seekang High. And welcome to a very special day celebrating our school's commitment to inclusion. <laughs> Please help me welcome our special guests from the Hasbro Corporation, the Special Olympics of North America, and the Special Olympics of Massachusetts, who are here with us today to celebrate. We also want to welcome some of our honored guests that are here with us today. Dr. Tim Shriver, the chairman of the Special Olympics. <laughs> Brian Goldner, the chairman and CEO of Hasbro. <laughs> Tyler Alston Swan, the district coordinator for Congressman Joseph Kennedy III. Mary Beth McMahon, the CEO of Special Olympics of Massachusetts. And our representative, Stephen Howitt. Okay, well. Okay, so the question is, why are we here today? Seekonk High School is being honored as a unified champion national banner school. But what does that mean? The National Banner Program looks to recognize schools around North America whose staff and students go beyond the three necessary components of a unified champion school. Unified sports, whole school engagement, and youth leadership, and truly embody inclusion. This means that Seekonk's commitment to
almost five years to the day, we applied for and received a grant from SOMA that would allocate some funds for a startup program. And I found myself in a meeting with SOMA's Patty Doherty, Kathy Lotz, Ms. Nelson, former SECON Principal Marsha McGovern, former Superintendent Arlene Bosco, and Special Education Director Susan Doe, as well as representatives from uh, Dighton Rehoboth High School, one of the few southeastern Massachusetts high schools that offered unified sports. I want to thank all these people that I just mentioned, and they need to be recognized because their answer to virtually everything I asked for was yes. The support for this program from day one was total and it was overwhelming, and it's because of these people and the vision and determination of Kristen Nelson that we are here today. You know, it's, you know, it's one thing to say that Seekonk was going to offer unified sports. It was quite another thing to do it well. And the concept speaks for itself, and the entire Seekonk staff truly unified, from Seekonk's administration to the Seekonk faculty to the South Coast Collaborative to the special education staff to the Seekonk athletic staff to the Seekonk Boosters Club to the student body. All of these people stepped up to the plate and provided their time, their assistance, and their expertise to make this program what it is today. Volunteerism, giving up your time and energy for free, was a hallmark of Seekonk's remarkable success in unified athletics. From day one, David Marr and Hannah Lawrence from the South Coast Collaborative were always there for unified, from practices to competitions to the bus rides, the whole nine yards as was the bulk of the special education staff. Seekonk has had such a rich tradition of excellence in track and field, and Coach Horton, Coach Berwick, Coach Lombardi, Coach Mooney, and Coach McCartan all volunteered their time to aid Kristen Nelson and her staff during practice and to officiate all home meets. Coach McCartan two years ago took a day off from work to be here at Seekonk High School bright and early one morning to work with representatives from SOMA and the MIAA to set up and run a South Sectional Unified track meet for about 20 neighboring teams, a meet that ran into the early evening that spring day. Maintenance engin engineer Jimmy Roy and his staff were there too for the setup of these meets for all that, that meet and all the unified track meets. The Boosters Club manned the concession stand and it just goes on and on. You can see where I'm going with this. This volunteerism continues to this very day. Mr. John Smilak and the Seekonk Band playing for us today, to Seekonk staff member Tony Gugliotta, who graciously gave up his time to produce that remarkable video you all saw today about this event. Thanks to all of you. <laughs> Volunteerism's one thing, but the success of this program has a lot to do with the quality and the dedication of the unified coaching staff I am so pleased to see Coach Ashley Hurst here today. Ashley was there with Coach Kristen Nelson and myself from the very beginning, and along with Coach Halsey Gargano, who was unable to be with us today. To the coaches, Ben Gibbons, Coach Steph Fiennes, Coach Jim McKnight, thanks for all you did and continue to do with this program. There are so many special memories associated with the unified program, which to me was the empowering of a segment of the student body for the first time in athletics. These memories ranged from the simplest things to the most spectacular achievements, like for the first time seeing students from Seekonk special education programs during lunch, eating with other members of the student body, some of whom were on unified teams and some who weren't for the first time like attending unified preseason meetings and their postseason banquets, like marveling at the crowds from all parts of the Seacon community who came to unified sporting events, like showing up to a track practice one day to see Vice Principal Chris Watley in warm-up clothes to participate in track and field events with members of the unified track team. On the same day, I might add, that Coach McKnight challenged Coach Nelson to the 100-yard dash, and that was some event. Like listening to a SOMA bro, uh, podcast, which starred members of the Seekonk Unified Basketball Team. I'll never forget Heather Fraga's take 
on basketball tactics. Like attending Seekonk pep rallies, an afternoon with the arts, where the unified team's performances always stole the, stole the show. Always. Like getting the VIP treatment one Saturday morning up in Gillette Stadium while Seekonk's unified team was being honored as Soma's Unified Champion School of the Year. Like putting up those banners and putting those trophies in the trophy case which proclaimed Seekonk High School, the MIAA Division I South sectional and state champion for three years in a row. And finally, like driving up to Milford last spring to attend a very special ceremony hosted by the MIAA where Kristen Nelson was named the MIAA Coach of the Year. What an amazing journey for a program only in its fifth year of existence. It's a tribute to everyone, but most especially to those athletes and partners who make up these remarkable teams. Now you take a look around this gymnasium, for, and by the way, it looks terrific. And you'll see many banners heralding outstanding athletic achievements through the years. Some of which occurred while I was a member of Seekonk's coaching staff and some of which occurred while I was the school's athletic director. But the banner we are going to unveil here today is without question the one I will be most proud of. In conclusion, I'm, a re in con in conclusion, I'm reminded of a TV program which ran about the same time as the beginning of the Unified program. It was called a newsroom. There were about two things I took away from that show that fit the Unified program and Coach Nelson and all the people who continued to make this program great. One was a concept called the greater fool, a person who thinks he or she can try to succeed in something when no one else thinks they can. Unified and really this country were put together by these greater fools. And finally on this TV show, a cable company was going to dare to put on a news program unlike any other and be the greater fool. How were they going to do that? They just decided to. Well, to Coach Nelson, all the greater fools of Seacock, how did we put together this incredible program? The answer is simple. We just decided to. Thank you very much, and congratulations. <laughs> and at this time, let me bring up Seacock students Charlotte Young and Noah Gaspar, who will speak about why we choose to include. Thank you again. spreads positivity and creates new friendships and is the first step to the inclusion revolution. Accepting one another and embracing differences changes lives. Choosing to include creates a safe, encouraging environment for students with and without disabilities to go outside of their comfort zone and participate in more socially interactive activities. It could be as simple as sitting with a new friend at lunch or walking to class with someone who may not have the courage to make new friends. Inclusion ensures that everyone feels needed, wanted, and cared about. The simplest things make all the difference. Let us all celebrate Seacock High School as a great example of the inclusion revolution. We have done our part to create a supportive environment for the students of all backgrounds and abilities. Now our challenge is to go beyond the walls of this school and expand the message to anyone and everyone willing to listen. Remember, it's the simplest things. Be kind to one another. Be sure that you, everything you do in this world contributes to the Choose and Include revolution. It's time for everyone to step up and make a difference. Now, let's have the classes join in and help us chant the core values. All right, freshmen, repeat after me. Respect. Respect. All right, my sophomores. Repeat after me. Unity. Unity. Juniors, repeat after me. Acceptance. Acceptance. Seniors, repeat after me. Inclusion. Inclusion. Respect. Respect. Unity. Unity. Acceptance. Acceptance. Inclusion. 
Respect. Respect. Unity. Acceptance. Inclusion. Please put your hands together, Seekonk High School, for our next speaker, the chairman and CEO of Hasbro, Mr. Brian Goldner. Hey, hey, how are you? Hello there, Seekonk. Hello there, Seekonk. How's everybody? Great. So we choose to include, too. Can we hear it again? We choose to include. Choose. Just earlier today, we got to see the video of all of your accomplishments, and we are so thrilled to be here to celebrate with you in this National Banner program. It's amazing, and I want to introduce you to a few friends of mine, the Team Hasbro folks who are all here with us. Team Hasbro, welcome to Seekonk High School. It's really amazing to see what you've accomplished. We're so thrilled to be here with you and to partner with Special Olympics. We're thrilled that Tim Shriver and his team are here with us as well. You've accomplished so much. I have to give our thanks and gratitude to all the coaches and athletes and students. It was so amazing to meet some of the students earlier today as they came over to Hasbro to share with us their thoughts about this program and its meaning to you guys. It means so much to us. Thank you for including us in everything that you do here today. Have a great day, and I'll turn it over for some of the awards. So, Mr. Duke is the re representative from the Sika High School's Positive Behavior Community, and she will be passing on the Royal Prime Awards. Okay, so we have some awards to give. The Warrior Pride Award looks to recognize students who are promoting respectful, inclusive decisions every day. The Hasbro Corporation is supporting this award because all the students nominated have proven to be school leaders by modeling exactly what it means to be kind. Teachers nominated students that modeled the core respects excuse me, the core values of respect, unity, acceptance, and inclusion throughout the school. There were lots of nominations, which proves how many students here at Seekonk High School are leaders in the inclusion revolution. First, I will list the students who were nominated. If your name is called, please stand and be prepared because the Hasbro staff will be tossing a, a Nerf football your way. <laughs> 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 so
So the grade nine. Grade nine students who were nominated. Nathan Cabral. Allie Dantis. Sarah DeMello. Lily Hoskins. Joseph Mello. Layla Oliveira. Allison Quinn. Morgan Silvestri. Emmeline Wilson. All right, sophomores, get ready. Sophia Cabral de Silva. Lucy Codega. Lily Haynes. Mike King. Lily McDonald. Christina Matos. Jaslyn Montero. Kayla Owens. Jack Toe. Nick Yang. All right, juniors, get ready. Haley Bodick. Andrew Cabral. Anthony Dinsmore. <laughs> Emily Reben. <laughs> Tyler Seals. <laughs> Madison Saroy. Seniors, get ready. Libby Dyson. Marcus Hoskins. Molly Loisel. Bernie Mallon. Brendan Morales. Josh Valente.
These next four students are truly leaders in the school. These students received multiple nominations and have been chosen as the Warrior Pride Award winners for their class. Each of the winners will receive Transformer Bumblebee statues and gift baskets from Hasbro. At this time, if Brian and Barbara Goldner and Dr. Tim Shriver can join me to distribute these awards. If your name is called, please come to the stage. From the freshman class, Manny Soares. From the sophomore class, Ethan Clark. From the junior class, Kyle Oliveira. From the senior class, Lila Carvalho. Congratulations, students. And now let's welcome the Chairman of the Special Olympics of North America, Dr. Tim Shriver. Good, uh, good afternoon. Look at all, what a haul these guys had. Congratulations to those winners. Everybody's getting presents, yeah. I, uh, so my name is Tim Shriver. I work for the Special Olympics movement all over the world. And that means there are 190 countries who are in some way, like symbolically, in the room right here in this gym. And they're all here, six million Special Olympics athletes, a million from China and India and places like Syria and Rwanda and South Africa and Mexico, they're all here in the room because you've won the recognition that they admire the most, that they want the most, 
that they all over the world believe in the most, and that is the recognition of being a leader in the inclusion revolution. So on behalf of all of them, I want to congratulate all of the students in this room. You are leading not just here in Massachusetts, but all over the world. So, Will and Lala, you're doing an amazing job. I want to congratulate you. Uh, fantastic MCs, symbols of leadership and passion and energy. If I were Will, I'd be up here shaking my flag and having everybody get going. I want to thank Barbara and Brian Goldner and the whole Hasbro team. Uh, we're a family movement. We love toys. We love play. We love family. We love getting together and having a good time and all of the people at Hasbro. This is your local company, right? These are people leading the world when it comes to play and relationship building from the business side. So if, you're, if you like what you're doing here today, get your, the HR folks are here. You can get your applications in and go to work for Hasbro. What a great company. I want to I want to join in thanking Mr. Crippen. I don't know if he's still here. I know 35 years, he said, he said, all these banners, look up. How many people here in the school today either know someone or are part of a team that won one of these banners? Raise your, so a lot of you. So you know folks who were part of the boys tennis championship team, right? People in this room know people who, who won that banner or who won some of these other banners. But I don't know if you heard, I don't know if you heard what Mr. Crippen said. He said the banner you're gonna raise today, which all of you won, is the most important banner that's gonna hang in this gym. And I just wanna thank him, I wanna thank all the coaches and volunteers, and especially Ms. Nelson, whose leadership and passion, as they said in the video, isn't just changing the school, but changing the entire city. So thank you to the sports team, the physical education, the adaptive sports, the special education, the administration, all those who are gonna help raise this banner, and I dare say it's the most important banner ever to be raised here amongst the Warriors. So thank you to all of them. I, uh, I want to say to Maria and Charlotte and all the partners, uh, just one quick lesson, uh, one quick offer. We got to talk a little bit before the assembly. And we started talking a little bit, not so much about what you're going to do. A lot of people like you seniors, you get asked a lot, what are you going to do next? Where are you going to go next? Juniors, you're getting asked, are you taking the tests so you can do the next phase. And, and that's all, a lot of what uh, we educators ask you, what are you gonna do with your education? But we asked a little bit of a different question. What's that? <laughs> that's a place you can go with your education. Walt Disney World, how about that? <laughs> Were you gonna take us all with you? It uh, sounds like a bus trip to me. <laughs> I love it. But the question we asked, Will, was what are you going to be? I go to be one of the Walt Disney Imagineers. <laughs> He's going to be an Imagineer. <laughs> now what? But I want to say we heard other answers too, Will. We heard other answers like I am going to be a person who sees beyond difference. Or I'm going to be a person who gets out of my comfort zone. I'm going to be a person who takes chances on other people. I'm going to be an includer. And I just want to thank you all in some ways for asking that question, even if you might not have heard it just that way. But the question this whole movement is asking of each other, and you're asking it of your parents, and your grandparents, and you're asking it of your country. What are we going to be? 
What kind of people are we going to be? Are we going to be people of respect, of unity, of acceptance, of inclusion? And you're answering that question with a yes. And I encourage you to have your own version of your I want to be answer. And maybe think about it here today and carry it with you. And I hope at some level what we remember from today is not just the banner and not just the excitement and not just the toys, although they're really amazing, uh, but also this moment in which you made a commitment to yourself. Some of you may join the military and you'll take a pledge. Some of you may join a company and you'll sign a commitment, a manifesto, a statement of principles. Uh, some of you may join a, a higher education and you'll sign on to a code of conduct. But today you've signed, if you will, you've signed a certain pledge of who you're going to be. And in my view, it is the thing this country needs the most. It needs you to be unifiers. It needs you to be unifiers. Can I hear it from this side? Will you be unifiers? Will you be Will you be? Unifiers. Can you be that louder? Unifiers. Will you be? Unifiers. Can you do better? Will you be? Unifiers. Oh no, will you be? Unifiers. Will you be, juniors? Unifiers. Will we all be? Unifiers. Thank you. Now it's time to unveil the Special Olympics National Unified Champion School banner that will hang in Seekonk High's gymnasium forever. This banner will show everyone that Seekonk High School is fully inclusive and a place for all students to, to enjoy and thrive. We have members of the Seekonk High School State Champion Track and Field Team who are going to help us unveil this banner. Are you ready? A drum roll please. Countdown with Sammy and me. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In closing time, for now, let's acknowledge and thank the students and staff for you to day in and day out to make Seacon High School fully inclusive and well deserve of this tremendous honor of being named a Unified Champion Natural Banner School. Let's all continue our commitment to inclusion by embracing our pledge to celebrate diversity, not use hurtful language, create opportunities for inclusive activities in our school and community, look out for the lonely, respect the unique abilities of everyone, sit next to someone at lunch, give everyone a voice, look out for the bullied, and be a friend.
So as we make our way out of the gym, we just want to make sure we give a, spe a very special thank you to all the representatives from Hasbro for their extreme generosity today. And to our, all of our honored guests for coming here and celebrating. So let's hear it, Seacon. So when we leave, we need to make sure this is an organized exit. Hasbro has some gifts for you, but all of the seniors are going to have to exit this door. Okay? Not right now. All of the freshmen, you need to exit that door. All, not right now. All of the sophomores, you're going to exit that door. And all of the juniors, you have to exit that door. Once you leave, then you can go whichever way you need to go. Does everyone understand? OK, we're going to start with the seniors. And make sure you say thank you. Okay, juniors, that exit. Thanks for watching our special report on the banner raising at Seekonk High School as it is honored as a National Unified Champion Banner School. Thank you for watching. I'm Izzy Patterson, and remember, choose to include.